disappointing uh, to me, and it's sad, but at the same time, you know, it just, once again, all the detractors, they said this was going to happen, and they were right. Holy shit, Phil. The detractors, they were right. Holy shit, Phil. Your detractors, they were right. Holy shit, Phil. Do you hear yourself right now? They were right. Like, we totally fucked him. Yo, oh, fuck all that noise. Get you a bottle of gin from Total Wine. Fire up your TV. Drinky, drinky gin. Drinky, drinky gin. Consequences have actions, pimp. Here's what you gotta do. Drinky, drinky gin. Drink a Pepsi later on. Play your fucking WB champions. Consequences have actions, pimp. Holy shit, Phil. The detractors. They were right. Holy shit, Phil. Your detractors. They were right. Yep. Holy shit, Phil. Do you hear yourself right now? They were right. Yep. Like, we totally fucked him. Stop being a fucking victim. You fucking bitch. You fucking asshole. Own your shit. Own your shit. Own it. Holy shit, Phil. The detractors. They were right. Bitch. Holy shit, Phil. Your detractors. They were right. Bitch. Holy shit, Phil. Do you hear yourself, bitch? They were right. Like, we totally fucked him. You're still on mission one. No, I'm not gonna let you lie. I know you're lying. I'm gonna pick on you. I know you're lying. Being dishonest and begging for money. Begging and people wanting justice. He is not a real person. He's not genuine. He is not honest. He's a scammer. I just see a scammer. They were right. Holy shit, Phil. The detractors. They were right. Holy shit, Phil. Your detractors. They were right. Holy shit, Phil. I just see a scammer. They were right. Like, we totally fucked him. Alright, I'm done. I, I, I'm done. I understand everything now. I know why there's this hate wave on him, and it's been on him for years. It's because of this bullshit. We're kid mom.
What is up everybody, it's your boy Duty. What's going on folks? Thanks for stopping by. My apologies, but your boy Duty's having some technical difficulties. It's been a little bit since uh, uh, I've streamed, so my apologies. It's like riding a bike, folks. If you don't do it, you know, if you don't practice to do it, you kind of forget, so. But, you know, a little bit of practice and we get it going. First of all, I need to apologize. My, my throat's killing me a little bit. I'm not sure what's going on. Not sure if I'm getting some allergies going, but uh, yeah, the throat, the throat isn't feeling too well, man. So, uh, how's everyone doing, man? Thanks everyone for stopping by. What's up, Vanguard? What's up, Preston? What's up, Lita? And my apologies, I won't be able to mod anybody because I'm having some issues with the browser uh, and where I'm normally able to select the name and um, and give mod chip. I can't do that, but so, but it's fine. What I'll do is uh, after the stream. When I go take a look at um, when I go take a look at the stream, what I'll do is uh, anyone without anyone without a wrench, I'll go back and uh, and mod them on the replay. So uh, don't worry, you guys will get your mod chip. And by the way, we're near nine thousand mods, nine thousand uh, mod squad. So big ups to everyone for being part of the mod squad. So if you're not, if you if you don't if you don't have your wrench, don't worry, you'll have your wrench soon. So. I'm trying to get over 10k, trying to get over 10k. And by the way, I did reach out to, uh, which I reached out to YouTube just to make sure that, um, it wasn't an issue having a lot of mods and they really said that they, 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 they've never heard of that request. Uh, they've never, you know, not, a, no one's ever reached out to them essentially and asked them if there's a limit with mods. So they didn't know. I, I don't think it's a problem. Um, I like stream labs. Uh, I know you could do more with OBS. Uh, I'm just not, uh, I'm just not that verse in using OBS. I mean, I'm a little dangerous with OBS, but, uh, Streamlabs is good for people that just want to do streaming on the casual. Uh, I think it's good. They give you overlays and everything and they make it pretty easy. Uh, so, I mean, this overlay right here was created in, uh, OBS. A friend of mine created it for me. And what I did was I just took it and imported it into Streamlabs. So Streamlabs and OBS are pretty much the same thing. OBS just gives you, Streamlabs just, just gives you a lot of um, easeability, uh, essentially. You can just click a button and do something. Um, but yeah, OBS is nice. If you want to get really fancy, OBS is, is cool. If you, if you know how to rock with OBS, yeah, OBS is good. Either one's fine. I don't like Stream Elements, though. I tried Stream Elements before Streamlabs, and I didn't like it. Uh, so I'm using Streamlabs. So yes, so yes. So how is everyone doing? I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, we're going to stream for about an hour and a half. I got some stuff that I want to go over. Uh, of course, RPG burnout. Uh, the new segment, uh, this is how you don't lie, uh, where we plan to um, go through uh, Phil's. Uh, anytime Phil uh, lies, we're going to now uh, chronicalize it. So we're going to make sure that we... We highlight it and that we post videos because, of course, we know Phil loves to tell everyone that we clip them out of content and, and we lie and so on. So uh, I think for uh, for for transparency sake, whenever Phil does lie, we have to make sure that uh, we catch him and we let him know. Uh, we let him know what's going on. But uh, yeah, Midnight Lobster. How you doing, brother, man? I hope you're doing well. I haven't seen you in a little bit. Uh, thank you for the uh, two ninety nine. I appreciate that super chat. And I think someone else super chatted me. Uh, hold on a second. Uh... Oh, there it is. Perfect. Oh, my Lord, it's working. Thank you, Jesus. Midnight Lobster, man, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. And then I think someone else did super chat at the very beginning. Let me make sure to give him a shout out. Ryan! Ryan, thank you for the two uh, the two pounds. I appreciate that. Uh, start the stream. Have a meaningful uh, tip. Thank you. I appreciate that uh, very much. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And uh, yes, these tips, these super chats. I need that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills, the electric bill, the internet bill. That's right. These super chats are what keep the business running. And uh, without them, uh, duty would go out of business and duty won't be able to come and give you some meaningful content. So it's much appreciated, folks. Very much appreciated. Um, all right. So I guess what do you guys want to talk about first? Do you guys want to talk about last night's debacle or do you want to talk about uh, the new segment? This is how you don't lie. 
Yes, I, I do pull Hogan's. That's right. Anytime I'm not uh, posting videos on Phil, I'm pulling Hogan's. That's right. That's right. I'm not 40K, uh, but I'm up there. I'm up there. Definitely the YouTube check does go into uh, funding uh, the addiction. So, oh, yeah. And by the way, too, uh, the um, you guys can gamble and so on. You guys can play slots and that's all that's all open. So if you guys want to play heist, or whatever, uh, I think I ended up last time I gave a whole bunch of people a bunch of points. So you should be good. Uh, you should be good. So let's talk about the tie tip goal. I'm down the tie tip goal. Let's let's find that the tie tip goal. All right, let's see. Let's see here, folks. Uh, the tie tip goal. Uh, let me let me let me pull up my video. Let's see here, folks. Wow, oh, the liquidity is coming in. Thank you, folks. I appreciate that. Uh, I'll let uh, YouTube bring it up, and then I will provide my. Uh, lovely commentary. Oh, let's not forget to the stationary word. Apparently, our boy, our boy Phil, decided to uh, splurt out the uh, the stationary word. Uh, the stationary word. So, okay, big ups, big ups. Wow, thank you, everyone. I re I really appreciate the support. Let me just read out these super chats real quick. And uh, uh, hold on, let me let me like let me like these. Hold on a second. All right. So the first var, the first one, Vanguard. Thank you, Pimp. I appreciate that. For free, uh, FF Phil, make one more sex joke with kids. That's right. Phil, Phil loves that. He he has to entertain Derek because you know Derek loves that type of humor. Big ups, man. Thank you. And uh, Shiplick Doppy Doopy. Sorry if I mispronounced your name, man. Thank you for the five. Let's talk about recycling styrofoam for forty minutes. What's the hassle? Sure, we can we can squeeze that into the conversation. Uh, and Amos32, thank you. I appreciate the $10. More liquidity for the business. That's right. The liquidity uh, is needed, uh, especially those Hogan pools aren't free. So your boy Duty definitely has to uh, make sure that uh, he has enough cheddar to, uh, to to do them pools. Thank you. I appreciate that. And Jay, Jay, thank you, Jay, man. I appreciate your support and thank you. And I see you out there every day posting comments on my videos. I do appreciate it, man. I see you copying the art, art, alt style intro disaster. Oh, yeah, I know, man. I'm an old man. Don't forget, I'm older than alt. So I, I get more of a pass. I get way more of a pass than, than, than alt does uh, because I am an old man. So I'm trying to do better, folks. What it is is that I don't stream that much, though. So. When I do, I, I, I kind of screw up. So, my apologies. Kevin, thank you for the five, pimp. I do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. And then cre creatine user, thank you, pimp, for uh, the, the 199. You said we won't have super chat. I need those, super chat money. <laughs> I really do. I need that money. I need my bills. No, no the wars. Bill, the internet bill. No wars, folks. FF Phil makes one yeah. more sex jokes with kids. <laughs> skull skull and crossbones skull. I need th that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills, the electric bill, the internet bill. All right, let me let me let uh. Let's talk let about recycling out. styrofoam for forty minutes. What a hassle! <laughs> I need th that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills, the electric bill, the internet bill. More liquidity for the business. I need th that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills, the electric bill. Sorry, the folks. Bill, I see you copying the alt style intro, disaster thinking face. I need th that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills, the electric bill, the internet bill. I need th that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills, the electric I bill, apologies, folks. the internet bill. You said we won't have a super chat war? No, we will not have I a super chat war. I need that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills, the electric bill, the internet bill. Let's just say I have to see Phil in person. Oncoming fist, dark skin tone. <laughs> That's right, brother. You're I not the only one. Money. You're not the really only do. one. I need that money. Thank you, Vanguard. Bills, the electric bill, the internet bill. I hope Pig's birthday stream is even less successful than the Super Bowl stream earlier this year. Uh, Yeah, I do too. I don't think... Yo, by the way, uh, like I mentioned before, WrestleMania is on the 6th. So I think already a few of the dents I heard read weren't going to be on uh, weren't going to be on Phil's stream like Jade and a few others. So uh, I know a lot of his dents love wrestling. 
So they may not be around for Phil. So he, he better hope he gets a nice chunk of change early on because the afternoon, that shit's going to dry up quicker than, than, than you know what. It's going to dry up quicker than Kat's uh, uh, VJJ. That's right. All right, folks. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. My apologies. But, uh, you know, we, we had to take care of the business style, uh, the business style uh, portion of the podcast here. Uh, let's see. Mike, Mickey, Duty, do you think that during the whole tip war segment, was Phil tipping himself, fake donos praising himself, or was that OIC? That was OIC. That was definitely OIC. Uh, OIC always comes out for these type of events. Anytime there's some type of tip war or Phil needs money and you start seeing anonymous donations like that, that's OIC. It's either anonymous donations or Lisa Lou or uh, Lady Charisma. Uh, th those are the those are the three telltale signs that it's OIC. So whenever you see a bunch of anonymous tips uh, or Lisa Lou or uh, uh, the other chick, Lady Charisma, I guess those are uh, his uh, his his female alternative uh, sock accounts. Uh, yeah, that there you go. Uh, let's see. What are your long term predictions for DSP channel? It'll eventually die out. I mean, how long can you really do this? Either by age or no one giving a shit or, you know, whatever. Uh, it's just going to die out. So give it time. Father time always wins. It's just like death and taxes. They always win. They eventually win. It's just like uh, the, the divorce. It's just like the divorce. The, the, it, whether he gets divorced today, tomorrow, next week, five years, ten years, it will eventually happen. Hashtag team divorce. All right, uh, duty. Why are you running away? Tails between your legs from Daddy Keemstar when you got out. Oh, uh, damn right. Hey, what's up? Uh, yeah. Let me. You know what? Before we start talking about that, I will get into the Keemstar stuff uh, because I did make a post about it uh, on my my YouTube page. I decided to take it off because I didn't want to continue the drama. So, um, yeah. So what happened with Keemstar was that I've chatted with Keemstar several times. You guys know that I've had some history with him. And on three occasions, I said, hey, is it okay if I clip segments? And he said, yes. Now, the issue came the issue came with we didn't talk about how long. So in Keemstar's eyes, a clip a segment was four or five minutes. And in my ideas, when I say segment, whether it's two minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, if it's a segment, that's what I'm recording. So apparently on his uh, podcast where he had Melanie Mack, I clipped it. It was like a 30 minute clip. And I posted it and then I got word to Keem and Keem wasn't really happy. Uh, so he shot me a note on Discord and I didn't see it. So then he decided to go on Twitter and make a stink about it, which is what he did, you know, calling people retards and all that. But it's 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 just, it's just a shtick with uh, Keemstar. So uh, I called him, I spoke with him and I apologized. I said, look, man, I think it was just a misunderstanding. Um, you know, I think it's a misunderstanding. I thought I got permission from you on three times. Here's the, here's the DMs that we talked. And he said, okay, but, uh, you know, I thought you were talking maybe five, five minutes. And I said, no, I said segment. So we chatted and, and I think he said, I, I think he's good with anything under 10 minutes. So I want to respect Keemstar. So I said, okay, not a problem. I'll clip it 10 minutes. Or if I do anything longer, I'll provide, uh, I'll provide commentary. He said, that's fine. So he, he thanked me. He said, man, I appreciate you reaching out to me. Uh, thank you for the apology. And it was cool. And then uh, he decided he needed some content for his stream that night. He brought it up and uh, he talked about how I called and that it was cool. And, 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 you know, he squashed it. So that's what it is. I mean, you know, it is what it is. I'm not looking to, I'm not looking to get into a fight with anybody and I'm not looking to give content to extra people. You know what I mean? Like if I would have been raging and pissed off and uh, what would I have done? That would have made me look even dumber. So uh, I took the L for it. And uh, just going forward, I won't clip his segments. I'll just clip portions unless I'm doing a commentary. So it's that easy. It's not a big deal. Uh, you know, your boy duty, you know, it isn't uh, your boy duty doesn't 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 mind uh, apologizing and then moving forward. It, it's all good. Uh, you can have logical. Con yeah, you all know Keem is. Um, Keem is cool. If you've ever get into, if you ever had a conversation with Keemstar off stream, he's a normal dude. He's a good dude. He's a normal dude. He understands, and it was all good. It wasn't. It, he wasn't confrontation or anything. Like I called him and said, "Leo, dude, can we chat?" He said, "Yeah," and I was like, "Look, man, I apologize. I think there was a misunderstanding. You know, uh, we talked before, and you gave me permission." 
And he was like, well, I don't remember that. I said, well, yeah, here are the DMs. And I, and I, and I told him, I said, look, man, I asked you if I could click segments. And then he was like, yeah, man, but you know, a clip isn't 30 minutes. A clip is five, five, five minutes max. And I said, okay. And I said, that's the reason why I asked. I was like, that's why I reached out to you and asked. And he was like, all right, you know, so it was kind of a misunderstanding, but it's fine. But afterwards, he said he appreciated me calling him. He said it was cool. And even on the podcast, he said, leave duty alone. It's fine. He apologized. You know, we talked. Everything's cool. Don't don't give him hate or whatever. So, you know, I, I, you got to understand, Keem start his, his whole fucking stick is drama. So, of course, he's going to make everything into a big thing. Uh, and, and he's just going to keep, you know, and it's part of the game. Your boy Duty's in the game and it's part of the game. What are you going to do? So there you go. That's the Keemstar segment. Uh, it really wasn't anything that, that big of a deal, but there you go. All right. So uh, let's look at the Thai segment real quick here. So our boy Phil decided that, um, our boy Phil decided here that he needed a new tip goal. And uh, uh, someone had mentioned something about uh, uh, ties. So let's get into it, folks. I need that money. I really, really do. I need that money. I, I really need that money. Really need that money. I need that money. I really, really do. I need that money. I, I, I really need that money. Really need that money. Really that money. That money. <clears throat> Hello Duty, always love it when you live stream. Please keep making positive content. I need those. Well, thank you very money. much. I, I really appreciate do. that. I need that money to pay my bills, the electric bill, the internet bill. It'll still slide on Keem. Just let me know. Tears I... <laughs> of joy, tears of joy. <laughs> I appreciate you, though, but it's cool. It's all good. I understand where I understand where Keem's coming from. And, uh, you know, uh, like I told him, it would have been nice if he would have reached out to me via Twitter, Twitter, I mean, uh, DMs or, or Discord. He had my information, but I guess he got frustrated and, and decided to uh, and decided to, to rip on your boy duty, which it's all good. Your boy duty's perfectly fine with, with taking heat. All right, let's let's finish watching this uh, this clip on the new tier four tip goal. Good stuff. Anyway. <clears throat> OK. Um, let's get started. Uh, BB Phil did a super chat this morning. Says, any news on a possible new variety necklace goal? Right now, I'm not, I'm not too keen on wearing jewelry or necklaces. No, I'm not really caring about that so much. Um, someone made a suggestion. Oh, okay. Someone made a suggestion the other day. You ready for this? Because I forgot about this. I was playing Alone in the Dark. And the main character wears a fedora. And I have a red fedora. And we ended up wearing it on that stream. But he also has like a tie, he, like he, he dresses nicely. And someone said, do you have any ties in your house? And I was like, well, I don't dress up in shirt, shoot, shirt, shirt and tie. And they're like, well, do you have them? And I looked and guess what? Lo and behold, <clears throat> I do have two ties, all right, from years and years ago. I think I bought these ties for my wedding because I wasn't sure which one I wanted to wear. So I think I bought both. And then I just chose that day which one I was going to wear. And I couldn't even answer for you which one I wore. I have no idea. So I do have two ties. And so yes, he did. He wore a, a, a very chintzy, cheesy-ass chain. Someone said to me, Phil, do you remember how to tie a tie? Let's see. Do I remember how to tie a tie? Well, this might be very sloppy because I haven't done this in ages, okay? I think it goes somewhat like this, if I remember. You got to hold it like tight here. Then you go around. Well, it's catching on my shirt. Go around like this. Yep. You hold it. Right. You know, Phil's the type that, that what he did was he got his dad or his mom to tie it for him. And instead of retying it every time, he just... You know, you know how you can loosen your tie up. He just loosened it up to get it over his fat head, and he left it like that. And the next time he wore it, he just plopped it back on and then just pulled it up. So that that's filling a nutshell there, right? And then you just have it go up and over and through like this.
So I did it, but it's horrible. I did tie it, but it's incredibly sloppy. But I did tie it from memory. Look at that. I haven't done that in a long time. So there you go. I actually remembered how to do it. I just, it's really bad. It's not even or anything. And what I would do is you adjust it. You make it more even, right? But that's what it is. It's muscle memory. You know, I did it so much when I was in, uh, when I was in high school, it was a private high school and you either had to wear a shirt and tie or a polo shirt. So I would alternate. And then I had an office job for a while. I had an office job where you had to wear a shirt and tie or something else. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so there you go. I can tie a tie. It's just from memory. <laughs> it's sloppy. It doesn't look great. You, know, you can adjust it after the fact. You know, you... you know, the funny fucking part of that is, is that him, him wearing that fucking shirt and putting on that tie, knowing that he's wearing some Zelda fucking pajamas on B PJs. That's what he's wearing. Cause that's all he's been fucking wearing. It seems like he's been wearing those fucking PJs for like three weeks straight. Fucking ridiculous. Them, them bitches are so dirty that they, 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 he puts them on so fucking much. They probably walk. They probably already walk by themselves. They, they, that muscle memory in the fibers of Phil wearing those pajamas out so much that they know to get up, uh, put on, get on Phil and walk to his office every fucking day. <laughs> Pull the shirt out and, you know, there you go. Anyway, so yes, I can tie a tie and we have them. Now, it's, it's silly because people are like, when you have a tie goal on your stream, and by the way, it just unties just like that. All you got to do is pull it. Uh, when you have a tie goal on your stream, uh, probably not, unless people really, really wanted it, right? Um, I don't know why people would care so much about a tie goal on the stream. If we were going to do a tie goal, then it would it would, be, it would replace the vest, basically, right? We do, we do gunner glasses, hat, tie. I guess if we hit 200 bucks, then we would add the vest or something like that. Do you really think that when I'm playing Alone in the Dark, that we're going to be hitting $200 in tips. I don't. We didn't do that ever in like months and months. I don't think we're hitting that, you know? <laughs> uh, What happened in Pop Chat? I, I really don't uh get to see Pop Stream that much, but uh, I'm assuming you're saying they were toxic against me. <laughs> if it is, what are you going to do? You know what I mean? Not everybody likes everyone. But I think, uh, <laughs> you know, it's just something silly to show you that I have it. Yes, I could still tie it. Good tie, too. Nautica. It's a Nautica tie. And, uh, you know, from a bygone era of my life where I used to wear this kind of stuff all the time for work, right? There you have it. Oh, yeah, you know what? I was saying that on Twitter, too. It's not very nice to say that. It's not very nice to say that, especially when there are a lot of real people with real mental disabilities and health problems that consider, you know, wanting to Minecraft themselves. So, uh, no, that wasn't very nice. But I can understand their frustrations. <laughs> yes, Darkseed the Phil. Cool. Okay. Uh, BB Phil did another super chat. And said, do we donate for shots? Do you drink if you die in a video game like in a drinking game? Okay, there you go, folks. That's it. It's just some more crap. But yes, our, our boy Phil apparently went from uh, switching uh, the necktie. Uh, I guess, did he, did he say the gunner glasses, I think? Or the vest? I think the vest or whatever. And then he slid in there that maybe it's just best if we create a fourth tier. This is a dude that could barely get $100 per stream and has a fit if he doesn't have $100 per stream. Now, we know Phil's uh, tries to claim that he wants $50 per stream. If he gets $50 per stream, he's happy, which is bullshit, because even if he gets $50 per stream, uh, that that wouldn't fucking occur. That that just would not occur. He would be pissed the fuck off. He would complain about YouTube side contributions, memberships. He always has something to fucking uh, bitch about. Um so what's phil's what's phil's response to this phil's response is well you know what let me just create a fourth tier goal let me let me get these dusty neckties out because god knows how i mean i think one of them was from his wedding and you know these his dad probably fucking got it for him his dad probably gave him two dirty ass ties and god knows how old they are and uh this dude this dude wants to f <laughs> wants to charge 200 bucks for a fucking necktie how about you just, I, 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 I'm torn when it comes, when I'm torn when it comes to these, uh, these, these goals. Like, I think they're extremely fucking stupid. I think they're dumb as hell. 
and they make him look very stupid. I mean, this is supposed to be a man who claims he's a mature adult and uh, a, a prolific content creator and someone that should be respected. And then he's charging people to to to. There's, he's charging people to put on fucking clothing. They dress him up like a Barbie doll. I mean, most streamers you have to pay them to take the clothes off, right? No, Phil Phil makes you pay him to put fucking clothes on, and it's it's just it's fucking ridiculous. I mean, it takes him forever to change shit up. Like you notice the one thing he doesn't do anymore is bubbles. He doesn't do the bubbles anymore. And the reason why he doesn't do the bubbles anymore is because people were fucking making fun of him. People were laughing at him. He looked ridiculous. He looked stupid sitting there with his yellow teeth blowing bubbles. And he stopped fucking blowing the bubbles. Uh, I mean, it took him, what, a year and a half to do that shit? To, 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 to change course and, and no longer decide to do bubbles? Um, but the damage is done. Like, he, he doesn't know that that going forward, everyone's going to make bring that shit up. Everyone's going to make fun of him. And yeah, I do bubbles at the end of the stream. If we get 100 likes, I do bubbles. And it's all just to fucking point and laugh at this stupid idiot. You know, like the eight ball. What happened to the eight ball? The eight ball, the, he, would, he would continue doing the eight ball if people were giving him eight dollars uh, to do it. But I mean, that just died the fuck out. So I'm kind of torn whether, you know, uh, you know, if, if Phil came to me tomorrow and said, duty, how uh, can help me? Help me. I need, I need to I need to help. I need to save the business. What, what should I do? I'm torn whether to tell him to keep the, the hat goal and the shirt goals going or tell him not to. Uh, if I like the guy, I would probably tell him not to. I would say, look, man, you, you look ridiculous. You look stupid. You're a 42 year old man going on 65. How long do you plan on doing this? And the only reason why he does this is he's trying to hopefully one day uh, bring back the vestry. That's what he's hoping for. He's hoping for, uh, uh, you know, lightning in a bottle. And that someone decides, hey, you know what we haven't done in a long time? Let's do the vestry. Jinx tried to do that shit in the summer. How long did it last it? Ten streams? Ten streams, I think he... he and, and, it, and it was him. He was the only idiot coming in every day and dropping a hundred bucks for ten days. And even him, even, even he realized he couldn't keep that shit up. Because nobody else was going to be coughing up that kind of money for fucking vestry. It, it's something that happened a long time ago, Phil, and you need to let it go. And these gimmicks, Phil, you, you just, it just, you look fucking pathetic. You look pathetic because you sit there and you say, uh, I'm a prolific content creator. People love me. That's what he says. He says he, he creates curated content for, for a segment of people that love his content and they come and they support and they give him money. But yet he has to do this type of shit. He has to try to figure out, oh, you know, neckties. That's, oh, neckties. Neckties is going to be the next vest streak. And it's just not. And it looks pathetic it looks fucking pathetic and then and then this guy has no fucking concept the worth of a dollar he doesn't he literally thinks that 200 dollars in tips on top of everything else is is warranted so that he can put on a fucking tie and he thinks that that's perfectly normal and then when people complain in his chat that they can't support because of inflation and all that this idiot comes out and starts bitching and saying, nope, inflation isn't real. You, you can't say that. You can't say inflation because PewDiePie still makes money. Uh, Maximilian stay, still makes money. So, so that's bullshit. No, Phil, the, the difference between you and those content creators is that those content creators are, are interesting. Uh, they're fun. And, and people, enjoy, people enjoy their content. Not you, Pimp. Not you. Anyway, so that's the necktie thing. I don't think it's going to happen because uh, I think... I think uh, once the trolls, I mean, once the detractors started memeing him and, and making fun of him on Twitter, that that's never going to happen. So you're never going to see the necktie. That 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 idea is uh, is long gone. So uh, yeah, I, I don't think it, I don't think we have to worry about that. All right, folks. So the next segment, real quick, is that I want to do or want to talk about here is my new segment that I'm that I'm starting to do that I'm going to start to do on uh, on YouTube. And uh, I did the first one today. The first one, it's going to be essentially, uh, I'm ripping, I'm stealing uh, Evil AJ's concept of, um, what's up, Nicholas? I'm stealing Evil AJ's concept of, this is how you don't play. And I put it, I put a twist on it. Just like, just like Phil uh, did a twist on Keemstar. I put a twist on it and I'm calling it, this is how you don't lie. And I'm pretty sure this is going to give me a lot of content, folks. KB, yes, Darkseed the Phil. Yes, Darkseed the Phil from 
uh, Twitter and from YouTube. He's the guy that does all my artwork. If you want to know who does all my intros, my videos, uh, that's uh, Pixar Animation. So uh, those are the two dudes that, that, that do my work. Okay, so uh, the new segment is This Is How You Don't Lie. And uh, what it is is we're going to make sure that we chronicle Phil's lies. Um, because, of course, he always claims we take him out of, we take him out of contents, uh, that we lie about what he says. And I think having a, uh, having these on video and just simply taking clips like I did today, I took two clips and I said, okay, this is what Phil's saying now. And this is what he said before. And the first one, of course, is fresh out of the, uh, the oven. It is the Baldur's Gate, excuse me, not Baldur's Gate. It is the rise of the Ronin versus Dragon Dogma 2. And in here, this is Phil telling everyone that he wanted to play Rise of the Ronin. And he was set on playing that game. But of course, the dents made him change his mind. And he decided to play Dragon's Dogma. And of course, now he's saying this is because no one's supporting that playthrough. And, uh, you know, Phil can't say, I fucked up. Or this is on me. No, 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 no. Our boy Phil needs to make sure that he casts blame elsewhere. So these are two clips right here. Uh, Dragon's Dogma 2. These are two clips right here of Phil. Uh, this is Phil. So essentially, you guys know the rich, the rich tomorrow meme. This is the whole rich tomorrow meme, the Phil tomorrow meme. So this is yesterday during his podcast where he's talking about uh, Dragon's Dogma 2. And how he only played this because the dents forced him to. Dragon's Dogma 2 because you guys and gals requested it. Remember, originally a few weeks ago, I said I was set on playing Rise of the Ronin. Okay? So All right, you heard that. He said he was set. He was set on playing Rise of the Ronin. That's the game he wanted to play. And that's what he wanted to do. Right? And let's not remember a little bit of content of what happened a couple weeks ago. Uh, our boy Phil, you know, talked about how the business is struggling and he doesn't have money and he can't afford to buy two games. So instead of buying both uh, Rise of the Ronin and Dog uh, Dragon's Dogma, he could only buy one. So he was leaning on, uh, he was leaning on uh, Rise of the Ronin because it was an RPG. That's what Phil said. That 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 that's what he's he's you know that's what he's he's claiming here. So yesterday, of course, he put the blame squarely. On the dents for uh for the 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 dragon um dragon's dogma to uh bomb that i want to play rise of the ronin and everyone was like well by the way big ups dark sea to phil for being out here by the way this is my dude this is my guy the man is super talented if you need any artwork please reach out to him he will try to help you out but but just to let you know he has to work on my stuff first and then he'll he'll do your he'll do your stuff whenever he can. But big ups to Darcy to Phil. You can play Rise of the Ronin, but we feel that Dar Dragon's Dogma Two is going to be a better choice. Dragon's Dogma Two looks like it might be a Game of the Year contender. Dragon's Dogma Two is just going to get better, you know, more people. It's going to get more viewership, and you should definitely play Dragon's Dogma Two. Okay, Dragon's Dogma. No one fucking said that. And that's what pisses me the fuck off about this dude. What people said, people were, when they brought up Rise of the Ronin, right? They said, play both. And he said, no, I can only do one. And he said, I wanted to, um, he initially said, I'm thinking about Rise of the Ronin. He did say that. He said, initially, I'm thinking about that. Uh, but that he really wanted to play uh, Dragon's Dogma. So let's watch the clip here from two weeks ago. And by the way, big ups to uh, it's uh, it's an otter's place. If you're on Twitter, give him a follow. He's a really funny, dude. Uh, he 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 made your boy do these life easy. He got these two clips and posted them. So let's watch Phil two weeks ago. Dragon's Dogma is what everyone wants and what you want to play. Isn't that an RPG? You should play Rise of the Ronin. Listen, I'm gonna say it again. I'm okay with playing either game. Personally, I am more interested in Dragon's Dogma. I am. Dragon's Dogma is what everyone wants and what you want to play. Isn't that an RPG? You should play Rise of the Ronin. Listen, I'm going to say it again. I'm okay with playing either game. Personally, I am more interested in Dragon's Dogma. I am. I'm more interested in playing Dragon's Dogma. Okay, Phil. Okay. 
Let's keep going. Yeah, I think the Dragon's Dogma is as a game. I played the original, right? And I loved the original. And I would love to play the sequel. But I can't play it when I'm playing other RPGs. So if we wrap up the other RPGs, then we can play Dragon's Dogma 2. That's the point I'm making. Dragon's Dogma is what everyone wants and what you want to play. Isn't that an RPG? You should play Rise of the Ronin. Listen, I'm going to say... Okay, now you know he loves to fucking talk about how his dents give him all of this. Oops, sorry. Give him all of this feedback, right? And he listens to their feedback. And yeah, right I here, think the Dragon's Dogma. Dragon's Dogma. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. As, a, as a game, I played the original. And right here, you have Phil actually speaking about specifically about what the dents were saying. And someone in his chat super chatted him, I believe, and said, "Hey, you constantly talk about fucking RPGs and RPG burnout." Um, play Rise of the Ronin. And he sat there and basically said he'd prefer to play Dragon's Dogma 2. That, that's what he said. And that's what he was talking about. He kept talking about that's what he's leaning towards. And the rest of the fucking week, he kept saying the same thing. He's saying he'd rather play do Dog really Dragon's do. Dogma 2. Money. To pay my bills, the electric bill, the internet bill. He will never get real answers in his chat. It'll always be skewed because of trolls. That's why he can blame anything but himself. Yeah, but the problem is that he can blame whatever he wants. But when you have when when there's multiple people saying the same thing in his chat, it's not just one person. It's multiple people. I mean, the the, the rise of the Ronin and the uh, Dragon Dogma thing was probably like 60, 40. Most people wanted to play uh, Rise of the Ronin. Now, Phil kept coming back and saying, hey, I don't know about Rise of the Ronin because the reviews uh, people are saying that the, the graphics are shitty, the gameplay is janky, and that it gets repetitive. This is the shit Phil fucking said. So, of course, he was worried that this would probably be another Jedi survivor. Where the story's good, the concept is good, but the, 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 the game has a lot of bugs and issues and, and, and the graphics are terrible. That's what happened with uh, Jedi Survivor. So he was afraid that if he played that... The dents would be pissed off because it wasn't 4K, smooth 60 FPS, and they wouldn't support. That's, of course, Phil's fucking logic here. Uh, so he decided he'd rather take the chance and play uh, Dragon Dogma 2, even though it's a fucking RPG. And he just contradicts himself over and over again. He, he'll, he'll spend fucking months complaining about RPGs and, and try to claim that the RPGs are the reason why his business is failing, but then we'll play more RPGs. Yesterday, Elden Ring. Elden Ring is a fucking RPG. Why would you play Elden Ring on your on your day stream if you're complaining that RPG or your RPG burnout, and you still didn't even finish Dragon's Dogma? What happened with this nonsense where you said uh, you were only going to play one RPG at a given time? What what happened there, Phil? I don't, I, hey, no, it, it's an RPG. I don't care if it's a JRPG. I don't care if it's a looter shooter RPG. An RPG is an RPG, you know? And the other thing is, um, oh yeah, and then he wants to play Final Fantasy VI. What, what the fuck? Is it RPG burnout, Phil? Or is it you? And that's my question, folks. My question here is... And let me let me put a post here, and I'm pretty sure I know what the po what the what what the post is gonna be. Is the problem? Uh, all right, so I'm putting a post up right now, starting a poll. I want to ask the question: Is the problem Phil burnout? Phil burnout? Or is it RPG burnout? Because I don't get it. I, I watch other people play streams like Maximilian and a few other Twitch folks. And they're rocking the RPGs. And they do well. Even even Rich. Review Tech USA. RTU streams. I know a lot of people are big fans of him lately. But even him, he'll play an Elden Ring's uh, game stream. And he'll get four or 500 people. And his support will be on point. Why? Because he has people that support him on a regular basis. And, and that's most people, most content creators, not Phil. Phil, just, just it, it just baffles my mind. It baffles my fucking mind with this dude. And uh, it, 
I, 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 it's, it's it. frustrating, Give man. Give me your mailing address. I want to mail you a spoon so you can eat shit out of my fucking ass. Ah, you redeem. Very good. I didn't know if my redeem was working or not, but there you go. So, uh, yeah, it just, it, it baffles me, dude. It baffles me. But of course, with Phil, he, he uses whatever argument fits, fits the narrative. So if he, you know, if, if it wasn't RP, you know, if, if he wasn't playing RPGs and, and let's say he was playing, uh, shooter looters, he would complain about shooter looter burnout and just fucking blame that. It's just ridiculous. And then he'll sit there and, uh, because of one stream, for example, yesterday, yesterday's stream, and this is a nice little segment here uh that uh, i want to uh move into so this little segment here yesterday uh which set me off it, it set me off today if you guys watch my video from this morning uh i was a little heated because of phil and uh you know i you know you know me when i make my videos i like to make fun of phil laugh at him and so on but uh sometimes he does he, he does pisses people he just pisses people off um and he did that he did that yesterday with uh with he did that yesterday with um with battlefront with battlefront so uh and then he decided to use the daily rap and insist that the reason why it, it, he used the daily rap to insist that he was correct that he did nothing wrong and that he was correct and i think that just fucking burned me up even more so i'm gonna watch the daily rap first uh hold on let me get that up All right, and the daily rap I think was like God knows it was it was long, uh, but I did cut it back because I, I just don't want to bore people with Phil's uh, Phil's mouth. So the daily rap I think was about um, twelve minutes long, and I ended up cutting that shit back. So don't worry, we're not gonna watch the whole thing. Hold on, let me let me find the spot I wanna I wanna teleporting jump into. characters zooping all over the screen when they're not sufficient to really functional to the collection and see I cast overnight. I was outright told by my audience, don't do that. Play Dragon's Dogma two. That's the better game. That's the one you're gonna want to. Be honest uh it, it is kind of frustrating when i'm trying to listen to what my audience is telling me to do keep in mind originally i wasn't even going to play dragon's dogma 2 i was going to play rise of the ronin right and i was outright told by my audience don't do that play dragon's dogma 2 that's the better that game money. that's the one I you're really going to want to play i need that money anyway bills, so we had a big discussion bill, about it this morning the internet I asked bill. everyone for feedback he clearly has a choice he wants us but because as he can't be wrong he needs the buffer of chat to blame it on if it fails big ups chat exactly it fuck exactly just man the fuck up and just say that was my choice it was wrong let's move the fuck on but phil can't cannot accept responsibility you guys heard me this earlier when i was talking eat about it. the keemstar Give thing me your mailing address i want to mail you a spoon so you can eat shit out of my fucking ass you guys heard me talking about the keemstar thing uh you know it was it was a miscommunication at very bad you know the very very worst it was a miscommunication but I screwed up, I apologize, and I move forward. And I learn from it, and it's something that I won't do again. And I move forward. And I took ownership, and, and, and it is what it is. You just, you just, you just fucking it. say sorry me mailing address. and I move the fuck you on. Spoon so you can eat shit out of my fucking ass. Just, just fucking move the fuck on. It's okay. Just move on. People fuck up and just move the fuck on. But not Phil. Phil has to find every fucking excuse in the fucking book. He's the type of dude... That, that that he's the type of guy that would go out and find himself a lady of the night right the lady of the night will be in his car he has 30 dollars in his pocket ready to hand it over a police comes in stops pulls him over and says what are you doing sir and he will sit there and say i did nothing wrong she came into my car uh no i didn't offer money for for sexual favors she actually uh gave me money and is willing to do sexual favors. That, that's how amazing I am because I did nothing wrong. That, that's the type of dude Phil is. And he'll go to court and use that excuse uh, to prove that he did nothing wrong. That, that's Phil in a nutshell right there. It's just fucking ridiculous. All right, let's keep going. I'm hoping that people will take that to heart and leave feedback on my podcast overnight um, on that because I'd like to really know what people think about it and what to do. Okay? All that was the first stream. Then tonight on the late stream, I said, I'm going to go back to Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection and see if it works. So here's, here's in a nutshell, the answer to that question. Okay. Does the game work? Yes. Is the game functional to the point where you can say that a single match is competitively sound? Absolutely not. The game works and it is better than it was at launch, but half the time, again, very hard for the hit detection to really register properly. Um, frequent 
freezes, stutters, teleporting, characters zooping all over the screen when they're not supposed to. But then it's funny because then the game will work perfectly for a couple matches and it's really, really fun. So it's kind of like half the time it works all the time and the other half of the time it doesn't work at all and it's just like a frustrating mix. The other thing is, as we discovered, sadly, after playing over the course of the night, there's only like two servers anyone plays on on PlayStation 5. Seriously, like there's only two to select from. There's a bunch of servers, but no one joins them. Everyone only joins the two servers. And so you have to play on one of those two or you're not going to get a match. And it sucks because the two servers, there was no aerial fights. There was almost no vehicle fights. It was mostly just 32 versus 32 team-based stuff. There were a good amount of play. That's right, Ingo. It reminds me of uh, Anchorman. 60% of the time, it works all the time. Don't get me wrong, um, but that's it. I mean, no kidding. There's probably about 200 people playing this game at one time on PS5 now. That's it. 200 active players. That's it. At any given time. I can imagine it's probably way worse on Xbox, so I'm glad I didn't buy this thing on Xbox, because there's probably barely enough people to fill one lobby. So, the thing is, <clears throat> when I was playing and it was working, I was having a ton of fun. It just was only doing that about half the time. But, a good audience came out and wanted to hang out with me, and we had very silly conversation tonight. We were joking about Will Smith and J-Lo as, as musicians. We were joking about all kinds of different various topics. I was making, you know, wookie cookie jokes and all kinds of stuff, and just having a good time with it. And I actually did some matches when the, the servers worked. I actually was getting killstreaks and stuff, which was fun. Uh, by the way, the wookie cookie joke was him saying, it's a wookie, give him a cookie. That That's some fucking quality commentary there, Phil. Um... And uh, we had a good time. Not only do we have great attendance and great engagement, the support was outstanding. The support tonight for Star Wars Battlefront Collection, which is a broken game that does not work, was more than twice the support that I had gotten on the Elden Ring stream. Okay? So, if anything, here's the deal. Right? Alone in the Dark, and doing good. Elden Ring, I love good. the original. A random Battlefront and stream does absolutely I would over love the top to play the sequel. Okay? But... I can't play Why it when is I'm it? playing other RPGs. The RPGs are so, underperforming. If it's we a very simple answer. Other RPGs, too many then we can play Dragon's RPGs Dogma 2. That's the out of point I'm making. The same exact thing that I said in January happened, has continued to happen, and is still happening now. It's not me, it's the fucking games. A game like the Battlefront Collection, we're just having fun, we're interacting, I'm being silly playing it, we can make jokes, we can have a good time. All of a sudden, people get invigorated. They want to support a game like Elden Ring. It's exciting to see me jump back into an ultra-challenging game and see how I'm going to do and see how overpowered this Glintstone Magic Run is. In a game like Alone in the Dark, people love my survival horror playthroughs because I put a lot of commentary into them. I get into the story. It's fun, right? RPGs are just RPGs. They're all going to be played similarly or the same, even if the play style of them is a little different. People are burnt out on them. They just are. Even if the games are good. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, it's good. Dragon's Dogma 2, it's good. But people don't want it anymore. That's why the engagement and support dried up for them. You're like, dude, too many. I agree with you. You know, over the course of the last six months, we had Like a Dragon Gaiden, Like a Dragon Infinite Well, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, Baldur's Gate 3, Endlessly. Now we've got Dragon's Dogma 2. That's too many RPGs in a short period of time. They don't work. But if I had skipped them, people would have just given me hell. Remember, I was going to skip Dragon's Dogma 2, and people were giving me hell, I need telling me I was doing the wrong thing. Really now I'm playing it, and now all bills, of a sudden the game is boring. Well, no bill, shit. I knew it would be, bill. because people don't want the same kind of game it's over and over. It's always so amazing that OL Phil's detractors make more money off him than he makes himself. Uh, yes, that 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 is extremely very funny. And as one of, those be one of the benefactors of that, uh, I do appreciate the fact that... Uh, his, his streams are so shitty and people dislike him so much that people would support other people just detracting on him, which which is just astounding. I've said this over and over. I, I, I looked at Phil's uh, uh, view count for my video this week for the financial numbers. He got 375,000 views in March for DSP Gaming. 375,000. And then you take and throw back and react. He, he might be, maybe, maybe get 450,000 views. I get about 1.5 million views a month, and th I'm a channel. I have, I have, I have what 11,000 subs, and Phil's pushing 210,000 subs, and he's been doing this what 15 years, and the man can barely crack half a million view views. And the only reason why he has even close to that amount, five 500,000 views, is because he has 70,000 videos. People do still go back and watch his videos. Not to mention the tractors that go looking for old content, the clip and so on. And that's the only reason why he gets that, that amount of number. Can you imagine if this guy was new? Give him, like, say he's been on for a year. The, the guy would have no fucking audience, no views, no nothing. And it is very funny that it happens.
But again, here it is right here, clearly Phil fucking casting blame on everyone but himself. Casting blame on everyone by himself. Now, I'm going to address the issue about him uh, doing well on the on on his streams yesterday. So the first stream, Elden Ring, he had to go back to a fucking RP. He had to go back to Elden Ring. <laughs> he had to he had to do a Hail Mary and go back to fucking Elden Ring. How old is Elden Ring? Two years, almost two years. He went back and decided to fucking play that game because he thought it was going to bring him in the cash. What did he get? He got 60 bucks in tips for a day stream. Remember, folks, this is a dude that expected $150 a stream. And especially on the day stream, it, 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 he pushed that back a little when he got pushed back when he came to YouTube, but he at least wanted a hundred bucks per stream, at least a hundred bucks for the first stream. And if he got 50 bucks for the night stream, he'd be okay with that. He'd be okay with that. Now this man is saying 60 bucks is a great stream. So he got 60 bucks for Elden, for Elden Ring. Last night, what did he get? 120 bucks for, 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 for Battlefront. Why specifically did he get 120 bucks for Battlefront? One, yeah, I think it is that you know it's a different game. Fine, uh, I'll give him, I'll give him a little, I'll give him some some credit there. But the main reason was the fucking podcast. If you don't remember Phil's fucking podcast, which we we can watch right here, real quick, the opening. This is how Phil started his day. Uh, everything goes wrong. This is. Oh, sorry, I'm not sharing. Sorry, folks. This is Phil's... This is Phil's video title from yesterday. Everything goes wrong. All right. So we know whenever he does this or comes out this way, it's a pity. It's a pity back. So he went last night and decided... Well, before yesterday, he went back and said, Okay, what, what beg can I do without being called the beggar? So I'm going to use the... My life is rough. It's been tough. That's right. Our boy Phil... It's been extremely tough for Wait, Phil. It's been tough. It's been you know, tough. My life has been tough over the last decade. It it's has. been. It's been tough. So this is how Phil started his podcast yesterday. All right, let's, I'm going to mute this garbage fucking intro podcast, which is the worst thing in the fucking world, God. Darksy, man, you got to get on. Get him an intro, man, because this shit is pathetic. All right. All right, Phil, come on. And of course, does he put a timestamp in this? No, of course he doesn't put timestamps in it because he's a fucking idiot. Hmm. God, this is just cancer. I think this is the reason why cancer rates are skyrocketing. Uh, because of this level one intro for his fucking podcast and his music. Just gives everyone fucking cancer. Why is this thing so fucking long? For fucking Christ's sakes. People complain that my intros are long. This shit is going on a minute. Alright, let's play it. What is going on, everyone? Phil here. Welcome to the Level 1 Podcast for Tuesday, April 2nd, 2024. First of all, apologies to the live audience. I'm a few minutes late today. Not really late or anything. But people notice when I'm late for stuff. Basically, I got a lot of stuff going on, a lot of uh, stressful stuff, okay? And it's causing me to have, like, stress and anxiety, and I'm running around trying to do a million things this morning, and it's like everything is going wrong. It's like, good lord, this is very annoying. Okay, so FYI, all that's happening, and what I want to do is cover some of this stuff for you guys today to let know what's going on. It's like not one thing. There's like multiple things that I'm trying to juggle and, and get working and or figure out. And it's very stressful for me today. It is. So what I'd like to do on today's show is very calmly sit back, relax, talk about each thing one by one. And let's discuss and try to figure out a solution together here on the show. Okay, that's really, I, I don't want to be here ranting, raving, <laughs> freaking out about certain things. Um, what I find many times is that sitting here on the podcast discussing topics with all of you, it's first of all, it's cathartic because I get to get it off my chest of what's going on. That's number one. But number two, we brainstorm 
solutions together many times during the show with the live audience um we've come to creative conclusions and or good ideas together and so that's really what i want to do today with the three big things going on the first one i could just get out of the way right away youtube is having all kinds of issues right now <sighs> okay the only thing we were missing was the big sigh that's always an indication of where phil is going to go the big sigh so uh, le if you guys aren't familiar with uh pig latin what phil is saying here is let's brainstorm how i can extract your cash from your velcro wallet that that's what all this is about this has nothing to fucking do about him being stressed out it has nothing to do with his 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 stressful life or things going wrong everyone has fucking problems everyone has issues Everyone has fucking problems, Phil. We we com we we completely understand that, Phil. But for you, the slightest fucking thing. What was YouTube's problem specifically? This was this was what was stressing Phil out. He couldn't approve comments. He couldn't approve comments. You you know how you can fix that, Phil? Don't require every single fucking comment to go through a fucking approval process. Just open up your fucking comments. If you want to put fucking word filters in there. And it'll just eat those words out. That's what you can do, Phil. But of course, no. You have to create something. You have to create a problem. And then you sit there and you bitch about the fucking problem. The problem is you, Phil. That, that, that's number one. So what he does is he goes on and, 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 and brings up three separate complaints of what's stressing his life up. And the first one, of course, was uh, YouTube isn't working properly. He can't approve. He can't approve fucking Slayer's comment. Or whoever the fuck it was that was trying to post something there. He, he couldn't approve those comments. What, what fucking ever. <sighs> now I'm doing the big sigh. Because I'm, 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 I, I, I want to punch his stupid face. On top of this shirt that clearly doesn't fit him. Why does he buy shirts that just don't fit him? Or fill, f fit poorly? <sighs> anyway. So that's the reason why Phil. Mainly you did okay yesterday. Was because you did the pity fucking stream on your podcast. You wanted everyone to know that you were stressed out. And what did he just say right there? I want to talk about it calmly. I don't want to rant and rave. What does Phil normally rant and rave about? Low support. That's what he rants and raves about. Let's not forget scorn. Let's not forget about that time back about two and a half years ago in November. Where he needed money now. I need support now. You know what I need. Why are you, you know, the whole withholding thing. Remember that screaming where he spent an hour fucking ripping on people because they didn't tip him. They didn't tip him. They didn't do memberships, whatever the fuck have you. And he was having a fit because he had no money to buy fucking games. And what did the Dents do? The Dents rallied and they even bought him video games. Remember that? Remember that fucking segment? So, of course, Phil is going to go back to the old playbook and say, okay, which, which beg... Can I use which beg tactic can I use? Can I do the sneak beg? Can I do this? No, 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 He He decided he was going to do the pity beg. And that's the reason why I came on support. The second thing that this fucking dude did is he decided to implore the tip war. He decided to implore the tip war. So uh, this probably just infuriated me very much here. So let's let, let's go here real quick. And last night he decided that he wanted to um, he decided that he, he wanted to talk about and, and bring up the fact that, uh, you know, he was getting dollar tips and then it increased to two bucks and then five bucks. And of course, instead of just accepting the tips and thanking someone, what did he fucking do? He decided to turn this into, oh, by the way, hint, 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 folks. We haven't had a tip war in a very long time. It would be, it sure would be swell to have a tip war. So let's watch last night's stream. Get that ass bent. Yeah. 
by the way, big ups to Pixar Animation. There is a longer version of this. It's, it has more, especially at the end. It's on my channel. It's actually the featured video. If you guys want to check it out, definitely check it out. But big ups to Pixar Animation for creating this intro. Oh, by the way, he is creating a new one for me. Just think Skyrim. Think Skyrim. So I should be getting that soon. Once I get it, I will uh, introduce it. Plus, oh, by the way, let me talk about that real quick. So I've been gathering overlays for a while now and creating different overlays, different steams. I have a DoorDash overlay. I have the Vault 1651 uh, overlay. I have the, uh, uh, you know, the, the laid back summer edition, um, you know, edition one. And I'm going to have the Skyrim rum. And what I'm hoping to do is I'm going to be, I'm going to hope to put kind of all those overlays together and then very much. Yes. I'm taking, I'm taking alt, uh, I'm taking alt stick here. So big up the alt, uh, all insider. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hopefully be able to create a, com a command where you guys can just change up, uh, change up the, the layout to whatever you guys want. And it'll, it'll, you know, I guess you can use your, your, your reward points, your snort bucks, and you can change up the overlay whenever you want. So I'm looking to get like five or six different overlays, just different themes. And uh, yeah, so big up to all insider. Yes, I'm going to be stealing your shtick, uh, but I will give you credit like always. So, all right, let's watch the video. To be uh, around 60 to like 65 maybe degrees today. That's what they said, the weather people. You know, those people who predict the weather, they're called meteorologists. Uh... I don't know why, because predicting weather has nothing to do with meteors, yet it's called meteorology. Figure that one out. Okay, folks, that's right. Uh, meteorologists should not be called meteorologists because they don't study meteors. Meteors, that's right. <laughs> Hot take there, Pip. Hot take. Uh, by the way, the, the word uh, meteor, meteor uh, is a Greek word, and it actually means air. It means air or atmosphere. It doesn't mean fucking meters, you fucking dunderhead. And uh, logi, or yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah, logi is uh, the study of. So uh, weather or meteorologist is this is meteorology is essentially the study of the air. So <sighs> way to go there, Phil. Big brain, Phil. How you guys doing? Already a contribution has come in. I wasn't even looking. We got a dollar tip here from. Perk, nice shirt. You look yummy. That's absolutely disgusting. Disgusting comment from Kirk. I'm very revolted. Thank you for the dollar tip. Okay. And it's funny because people I'm are like, is Kirk banned? Uh, I don't even know anymore. I don't know if he's actually banned in the chat. I haven't seen him. I have no clue. Anyway, uh, how's everyone tonight? John, good evening. Michael, good evening. Warrior. He says, I lost my crown, but maybe I'll get a new one to continue my streak. Maybe you could buy one. Just saying, for those of you who, since January, have been sitting around with the less than a penny value memberships, uh, perhaps now would be the time to say, hey, I've liked having that membership. I know that Phil could use the support. Perhaps I would purchase a membership to help out Phil. Did you ever think about that one? <laughs> perhaps that would be a thought in your head. Yeah, you goddamn freeloader. This shit, I'm not running a fucking charity here. You need to open up that Velcro wallet. You need to steal your mom's credit card and you need to give me what what is he charging? $3.99 for a membership? You need to give me $3.99 a month for this quality content. <sighs> Man. Oh, by the way, I do uh I, I did get a, a a DM from several of the Argentinian detractors, and they do have something uh lined up for our boy Phil. So it should be pretty interesting, folks. He likes to make it. I stuck him! I don't want a sticky grenade! Oh shit! Oh, holy crap. Whoa. <laughs> Yo, the dude flopped out of it. I was not firing that whole time. I never fired a shot. I was pressing R1 instead of R2. I was pressing R1 instead of R2, and I wasn't firing my weapon at all. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I was like, am I, am I, am I killing I people? Spoon. I was toggling my weapon back and forth instead of firing ass. my weapon. That was a marvelous fail to start there. Oh, shit. What the hell did you come from? God damn it. Did I kill him? I think... No. Fuck. <laughs> Look at the camera still wigs out when you die though. So they the game seems pretty playable, but the camera still wigs out as you die. Oh my goodness. Shit, the body went flying. Well, I'm gonna be honest, this doesn't feel much better. It seems like it's everything's missing, right? I'm shooting the guy right in front of me, no damage. I don't know if they fixed it or not, man. Who said they did, but I don't know about this. 
absolutely filling them with bullets. <laughs> I'm filling them with bullets. Is there anything happening? Let me try. Here, What's up, Kai? How you doing, pimp? And by the way, big ups to OIC for holding down the chat here and dropping it's those. It's smooth, uh, 60 frames. Dropping those anonymous donors. I don't think that the hits are very accurate. Look at this. What's frozen. It? Fucking frozen. Do we have a dumb troll? Is this a troll? Why else would he be doing this? I can't even see his name. He just keeps rolling. Look, he's an idiot. I guess it's a troll. I can't even tell, but I mean, he's acting like an idiot, so I'm just going to quit that one out. By the way, I heard that that was I guess, Raven. You know, I, Raven. I can't even was tell. Can you tell me? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what was going on there. Our player. Yeah. All right, this is the, the this is the tip war so far, bullshit. That is, oh, the night is young. The night is young, and I will go as far to say I believe someone will tip bigger than five dollars tonight. What do you think about that? I'm probably gonna look stupid now. I received a dollar tip. Uh, let's see. Eat it. Give me your mailing address. I want to mail you a spoon so you can eat shit out of my fucking ass. No, you see, that's ridiculous. Someone is, is basically trying to talk about gifted memberships and all this stuff. We're not gonna talk about that tonight. You want to talk about that? We can discuss that stuff on the podcast. I'm not going to get into a debate about gifted memberships versus legit memberships versus this and that on the stream tonight. We're just playing multiplayer, but thanks for the tip. Why? What happened? Did somebody call you out for calling Argentinian memberships uh, fake memberships, which is against YouTube's terms of service for, for doing that, Phil? Is that is that what the guy wants to talk about? But now, of course, you don't want to talk about that. I'll talk about that. But yeah, you want to you, you want to make sure to tell your dents, hey, what, stop being a fucking freeloader and maybe pony up three ninety nine. Uh, to, to buy a membership, right? I don't know why I'm even out here or why I'm doing this. Oh, great. I can't... Oh, no. Oh, no. What did I do? Fuck myself in here. Well, I'm dead? I couldn't, I couldn't get out of the room. <laughs> I couldn't get out of the room. Oh. What the? Dude, there's no way to have any kind of semblance of control or order to this. It's too chaotic. And now we lost. We lost. By the way, that is the biggest tip of the night. So Big Mac did make a liar of me. He, he did He did top the $5 tip. No, wait a minute. He didn't make a liar out of me. He made me truthful. Because I said I bet that there will be a tip bigger than 5 bucks, And then there was. So thank you to Big Mac for that. In fact, how about this? I will, I will, I'm absolutely positively sure there will be one more tip bigger than $6 tonight. How about that? An official My, my Goat channel says my shirt looks ridiculous well thank you for that i really appreciate that if the shirt looked ridicu ridiculous enough to make you do a super chat then i guess i've done my job thank you for that it was pumped everyone was advertising it everywhere it was 100 tie-ins when i saw it with my dad and we were like outside of like the action scenes at the end of the movie the entire movie was super boring we just didn't like it at all neither me or my dad and we both were fans of the classic star wars and neither of us liked it uh i just received an eight dollar tip and this one's just anonymous i don't know who this is from whoever this is thank you for the eight dollar tip devil how you doing pimp that's the biggest tip of the day anonymous we lost already look at that how did we lose so fast? Because I wasn't playing? Uh, <laughs> no, happened? because you were too busy counting your fucking money. That's why, you fucking idiot. What happened there? They were all waiting for me. I received a $2 tip from Joe Pesci. I watch your stream all the time. It's the least I can do. Thank you, Joe Pesci. I appreciate that very, very much. That's two bucks. So now we're up to $8. How about this? I will say. All right, this is one thing I want to say. When you have people super chatting you, right, or tipping you, and saying, I'm sorry that I can't do more. I feel bad that I can't do more. They're not doing that because they feel like they need to explain themselves. They're doing that because you make them feel that way. Phil, so you're making someone feel like, I need to donate to this person because if not, he's going to starve. So I may not have $2 to give, but I'm, I'm going to give the last $2 out of my pocket because this guy needs it more than me. Mind you, someone that makes over 100K lives in a gated fucking community or to DoorDash every fucking day needs, needs someone's $2. And the sad thing is that I, I kind of feel bad. I feel bad for some of these people because some of these people can't afford shit. They really can't. They're just on YouTube. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest. A lot of people watch YouTube because it's free. It is free. And maybe they can't afford cable. Maybe they just can't. So instead of, you know, uh, watching, paying for cable TV, they jump on YouTube and watch something for free and they get their entertainment. You got these people feeling 
terrible about themselves. No one should ever feel that way. No one should ever feel that way. Or you should never make someone feel that way. That because you're watching them for free, you're somehow fucking stealing. No. You, the mere fact that they're on the fucking stream watching you is payment enough. Because you know you're running ads on them. Those same people that can't afford two bucks for a super chat, you know they can't afford YouTube premium, so they're going to have to watch the ads. So they're paying you somehow, whether it's through ad revenue, whether it's through the engagement that they're giving you, whether it's through the view time that they're giving you, right? They're paying you somehow, Phil. And the fact that you have these fucking people uh, uh, giving you super chats and tips and saying, this is all I can do, I'm sorry, should make you feel fucking ashamed. You should feel a fucking shame. You should take that person's name down and refund that shit. That's what you should do, because if you make someone feel that fucking way, you're a fucking shitty ass person. No one should ever come onto a streamer's site and feel bad because they can't fucking donate. But not Phil. Nope. Phil. Uh, what was it? Remember? I remember it was Tim. Was it Timbo Slice? I think it was the boy. The boy is going on his third bankruptcy and he's tipping Phil and telling Phil, hey, uh, I'm, 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 I'm just filed for my third bankruptcy and my wife's divorcing me. Did you think he fucking told this dude, yo, stop giving me money? No, he didn't fucking do that. He basically sat there and said, oh, don't forget to renew your membership. Don't forget to do this. Oh, by the way, I'm having a marathon. Don't forget to come on and fucking uh, give me money on the marathon. Just a fucking terrible human being. Terrible. All right, we only got a little bit more here to go, but uh, he continues this fucking pattern of behavior. Yeah, there, it, we will absolutely receive a tip tonight bigger than $8. I believe that. I truly do. And if, I, if, you know, I don't, well, I guess I'm just an idiot loser. But I think that we will do a tip larger than $8 tonight. And also, so thank you to all these people who did Super Chats. We have David, who said Star Wars Hype Brother. I wish I knew how many humans were actually playing. I received a $15.50 tip. Don't second yourself. That leads you to nowhere. Don't second yourself. Big up, so I see. Right? I don't know what that means. Thank you, though, for the $15 tip. A command post is under Imperial control. A command post has fallen to our enemies. Anonymous, $15 tip. So I was right. We did get it to bigger than eight. And now we're $49 tips. We're a single dollar away from Gunner Glass's greatness. There you go. Under Imperial control. So there you go, guys. Um, Thank you for that. I don't know. I'm kind of skeptical we get a tip bigger than 15. Honestly, like I wish we would, but I don't think we're going to. So I kind of don't want to say that and then look stupid. So I'm going to say thank you, guys. But there's probably absolutely, positively no way we're getting a tip bigger than $15 tonight. I think that's the top, the 50 top of what we're getting. And I appreciate everyone who contributed so far tonight. I'm already about to die. I don't know who's shooting me. I can't see who's firing at me. This is crazy. I'm getting owned. I'm completely owned. Uh, I'm going to a restaurant. I'm not sure what I'm going to have for dinner tonight. We're going to split the part. I have shout out. If you can believe it, I have shout outs to do. Are you ready for this? So I have received an incredibly generous $20 tip from an anonymous tipper tonight. $20. Big I up, can't so imagine I who would see. $20 for this broken mess of the game, but maybe you guys just like hanging out with me, and that's cool. Oh, I really I appreciate see. that. So thank you very much for the $20, whoever that was. Oh, I see. <clears throat> really so now we are up to $69 oh, in tips, which actually means we raised more tips tonight than I did playing Elden Ring earlier today. If you can believe it. Uh, excuse me. But we're not done there. I received a dollar tip. From August. Is it fixed now? I quit playing after day two. It was so disappointed. Take care. No, it's not fixed. Did you just see that last match? Oh, there's a giant physics bug and fucking big black thing blocking the whole screen. I couldn't see anything. So it's not fixed. I received a dollar tip from Obama Phone Pro Max 5G. Thank you to Obama Phone Pro Max 5G. So that's going to get us up to $71 in tips tonight. And then I received a $5 tip. From someone saying, take care of yourself. Thank you, whoever that was. Thank you all, those who are supporting tonight's stream. We still have another hour to go. Hope you guys are ready for more buggy mess of a, of a game that this game is, because it is a huge buggy mess, that's for sure. Uh, Wow. <clears throat> okay, thank you guys. Let's split the part, and then we'll continue on. All right. I'm just going to briefly stand up and stretch my legs, and then we're going to continue on with another hour of this. By the way, what I want you to do real quick, take a look real quick on the screen right here. You, you look right all the way to the right side here, Phil's chat right here. How many times did Nightbot pop up and remind people how to donate? And if you ever watch his fucking streams, these fucking pop-ups come up all the fucking time. So on top of the 15 or 20 begs he does a I fucking need day, money. I really do. I need he uses money. Nightbot to beg bills, as well. The electric bill, the internet bill... Imagine giving Phil your last few bucks for him to immediately waste it on WWE Champion as soon as the camera goes off.
Yeah, and and you sit there and you want to call these people stupid, but is it because they just don't know? They don't understand? They don't know what Phil is doing? I mean, some of the some of the big dents, like, oh, I see the people that know Phil, the know the shit that he's doing, one minute, man. I have no sympathy for those fucking idiots. But, like, some of these smaller dudes that may be new to Phil's stream, because that person that super chatted, I've, I've never heard of that name before. So he might be some new dude that came randomly over to watch this stream and decided, oh, man, this guy must be hard up for some money. Let me let me help him out, which is fucking pathetic. It's just fucking sad. That's right. Nightbot. Nightbot begs just as much as Phil does. All right. I think uh, it's almost over. Let's see. Chaos. Okay, everybody. I was Elden Ring. Did pretty good, actually. I uh, I did surprisingly good. I took me about like half an hour maybe to get used to the controls again. And uh, and then I kind of got into the swing of things and we had good progress today. We did the entire. uh, uh What is it? As the Astral River. Ladies and gentlemen, I just received an incredibly generous twenty five dollar tip. And it's an anonymous tip. Someone says, Phil, thank you for just being you. Wow. $25. With that tip, we have now hit the hat goal, and you guys get to pick a hat for me to wear. Big up, so I see. Big hats. up, so I see. I wish I did. I don't have any Wookiee hats. I don't have a you know, Darth Vader helmet. I need that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills. I'm sorry about that. Bill. But that is the biggest tip of the night now. Bill. I also noticed how much he's been shaking on stream. Oh, yeah, he's been doing that a lot. And I think what it is is just the stress, the, well, the stress uh, and the worry of um, uh, the worry of not being able to have money for his addictions. That, that, that's seriously what what it is. Uh, if you ever see an addict, um, if you ever see an addict, that's that's the shit that addicts do. Uh, addicts, uh, you know, addicts, uh, 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 you know, they, they jones. Essentially, that's what Phil is doing. Phil is jonesing. Worried about the tips. Uh, by the way, I do want to play a quick clip here, uh, which was actually pretty funny here. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so that's it. That's it regarding last night's stream. Uh, I just wanted to highlight the fact that he came on his fucking podcast and did a pity beg uh, and then essentially stressed to the dents about memberships and support and everything. And they came out and OIC heard the call and decided to drop about, what, $75 in support. If it wasn't for OIC, he would have fucking gotten nothing. He would have gotten, what, 30 bucks maybe in tip? But of course, anything to prove Phil's point, he's going to use it. And of course, he's going to gloat today on his podcast. Let's see how much money this asshole gets on uh, the first stream and the second stream. What's he playing tonight? Is he playing, uh, 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 what's that stupid uh, horror thing he's playing? Uh, Alone in the Dark. Let let's see how he does today. And let's see if he gloats. Okay, the last clip, folks, right here that I wanted to play... Is apparently our boy Phil just can't keep his hateful slurs to himself. And this is a little clip here from the other day. Let's play it and uh, let, let's let's hear Phil uh, struggle to hold back the hateful slurs. Praises and abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us, mother, and take pity on us. Accept our sacrifice and judge our worth. Yashub nigger niggeroth. So, praises and abundance oh, to the black. Oh God, that's almost as that's almost as bad as Phil's an ager. That's almost as bad as that. Uh, and he does he didn't say Phil's an ager. He said something much worse. Uh, so that's it, folks. That's all I have. Uh, I hit the hour and a half mark. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. Uh, I'm not sure what we did. Did we did we hit the hundred? Did we hit the 100 goal, 100 goal likes? Let me see. Hold on a second. Let me see if we hit the 100 goal like. We're at 99, folks. All right, look. Because I love you guys so much, duty's going to be 100. That's right. And I will count it. I will count it. And, uh, yeah, give you guys the props for it. By the way, here it is. Let's do some amazing bubbles. Uh, well, let me find a really good bubble. Uh... Where's the one I usually use? Oh my lord. Where is it? I think it's a short. Isn't it a short that I use? Let's see. Bubble bazookas. Alrighty, folks. You guys are ready for the bubbles. Can I get a one in the chat if you guys want the bubbles to play? Who wants the bubbles? Who wants the bubbles? All 
That's right, folks. Your boy, Duty, is blasting the bubbles. Your boy, Duty, is jizzing his bubble juice all over everyone. That's right. Now let's fucking go. Big ups to Super Crazy. <laughs> Wherever you're at, Pip. Hope, hope everything is well with you. All right, folks. I just want to thank everyone. I appreciate you guys coming out. We had a lot of fun. Uh, I'm going to see if I can stream again this week, maybe Friday or Saturday. I might do a weekend stream. Uh, let's see how things go, though. But I do appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Uh, this was a lot of fun. And, of course, it's a lot of fun holding pig roaches' feet to the fire. Oh, my Lord. All righty. Well, big ups, everyone. Much appreciated. I love you guys. You guys have a good uh, night, a good day, and uh, peace out, folks. By the way, I want to give a big shout out to X4B. Thank you, Pimp, for helping me out with the uh, with the Google Sheets. Uh, we're gonna have some new and improved metrics, some graphs. My boy's helping me out, so uh, we'll we'll definitely be pumping that out with the content. So again, peace out, everyone.